scene, only now instead of looking at a picture, we just got the one spot, which makes it a little easier to see what's going on. The north pole of the magnet coming in, pushes it down, pushes it down. south pole, of course, pushes it, pushes it up. And this is real nice if you're doing hand rules uh, to be able to show them that you've got your electrons coming this way, left hand for negative charge, the north pole facing that way so the field is like that, the palm would be in the direction of the force. And that's exactly what we've got. When we go to the south pole, you've got to be more of a contortionist to be able to turn everything, but it works the same way. And come over here, and the north pole doing what? Up, south pole, down. Okay. So basically, we see the same thing with the TV and the oscilloscope. Why should that be? Same electron beam. Exactly. Same principle. You've got a moving electron beam in both, interacting magnetic fields, the field of the beam plus the field of the magnet leads to a deflection, and you wind up with the beam. Uh, lamp. One of the nice things that I used to like with this, too, uh, was that uh, one of the things we used to teach in the regions, and of course it's still in APV, is that uh, you've got to have the some component of the velocity of the charged particle going at 90 degrees to the magnetic field. If the particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field, the force is zero. So you could bring the magnet in, not so much this magnet, maybe one of the smaller guys. You could bring a magnet in front and you can twist the beam a little bit, but you don't see the deflection. 